from a defensive here to stepping in. And I'm able to move here, here, and one step. We made it for shooters because you already have the draw stroke. You have it here and you have it here. <laughs> Jiu Jitsu is fing awesome, but so is algebra. Nobody uses it. I'm back to this. Dun, 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 dun. Nobody uses Anybody use algebra today, this week? But no, you don't use it. Right, right. here, and then we can do this. You gotta use what God gave you and stop with it, is really what it is. Because life's not fair. It's not fair that he's bigger than me. And if he comes out and I crush that arm, he doesn't want to hold that blade anymore. He doesn't want to hold that stick with a pistol. So right under the ear, if you, there, right there. You feel that, right? Yeah, I felt that real It's not fair. So I need to have the advantage. If you want it easy, you want to get right to the point. No defense, offense, offense, offense. I go first, I cheat, I'm relentless, and I don't quit. Al is the creator of the Colonel Blade. They came all the way down from Pennsylvania. I want to pay, want to pay attention. You guys see that I use that blade. As far as why, we're going to let him talk about it. After how many years of playing with blades? 25. You can't be meek out here. The rain makes it loud. You're going to have to talk like you're on a job site language. 25 years he's been playing with pokey things. So some of the, the, the most well-trained war fighters alive go train them how to pick knives and people. We get him for a couple hours here. Well, you. I'm going to show you the blade. Because when I want to show you the blade, I don't want to hide it. I'll show it and it'll be gone. When I'm right on top of you. Because I want you to change. Uh, if you don't change, you're just going to take your shit out and shoot me down. But once he sees that there's a blade, you're going to act different. You're going to, I need to get out of the way now. I need to move. I need to move. But if you don't see, you know, you're just like, shit, I'm just going to shoot him down. I need to be on top of you. I need to cover distance. I can't have that gap. So with this blade, I'm able to move from a defensive here to stepping in. And I'm able to move here, here, and one step with that. None of this. Okay? And the reverse grip's the same way. Full extension. I can bring it straight out all the way. I don't have to change again. I don't have to change. I'm back to this. Dun, 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 dun. Right? One, two, three, boom. And just keep on straight. I never have to practice anything else. I never have to clutter my head with all shit you're never going to use. Because most of the time, you're going to use a half a percent of all your martial arts training. I know, I've, I've done it. I trained and trained and trained. Taekwondo, punching and kicking. I go working in bars. I'm in my best move. Two handed choke, banging their head against the door frame. That's the only thing that worked. Because everything else I did, I bounced right off him. Because life's not fair. It's not fair that he's bigger than me. And so it's not fair. Right? So I need to make holes in him. How am I going to do that? Guys, let's put a pool together and get them to go in. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to keep my blades up. But anyway, it's not fair. So I need to have the advantage. I need to be able to make holes in the target instantly. Not cut, stab, cut, stab. That's bullshit. Then I'm going to drop it, okay? So what we designed it, I get to hold it now. I'm not going to drop this now. You're not going to get this out of my hand. There's no way. It's my favorite blade. Used to be my favorite blade. Used to be, used to be. But it's not now. Why? Because I don't have it, okay? And if I can't hold on to it, what good is it? If I can't hit the target, everything you learned here, if, Mick, if they can't hit the target, it's all useless right if you guys can't hit the target everything you learn after that is useless right that's why you're learning to hit the target so same with blades if i can't hit the target and i'm only going to cut 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 everything else is just bullshit it's useless right i need to be able to move fast with the blade point first point 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 because you'll move off the point okay and if you say cutting and stabbing we'll have a step we'll do a contest i'll stab you cut i'll go first <laughs> with any blade it doesn't matter Right? You cut me across the chest, I get to stab you in the chest. You would take that? No. Who's going to take that? So why, why are we always cutting? So every time you want to hear a cutting and stabbing, you need to have a big blade, a, a heavy, heavy blade to cut. Okay, I get that. You want to put a machete down your leg all the time? No, who's going to do that? I'm not going to stab him. Right? And he knows it. He knows I'll cut him because I'm being nice to him. I love him. So. But when I stab people, then I want to kill them, right? You're going to need to. 
Same with shooting them. Uh, te you teach uh, shoot to grace, right? No, who the <laughs> does that? But when you're cutting, all you're doing is grazing me. If I cut his arm, what do you think? I'll get through this a little bit, maybe the second layer, and I'll scratch his, and then he'll be <laughs> on top of me. <laughs> me and my ass, where are these people? Right, yeah, that's right. I heard about him. <laughs> that's that's a guy, right? So here's a problem with men and knives. And every time, it's too <laughs> big, right? It's the same thing. But it's too big because it's a, yeah, yeah, I knew you'd show up. It's too big. It, it, it's, it's a hindrance. You know it's a hindrance. You know when you're slinging a rifle, when is the hindrance? When you're up close and it's hanging, it's in the way. Blazer, same thing. Cut and move, cut and move. Okay, yeah, okay, that's good. That's good for your family. Cut and move. Okay, but when it's serious, you want to stab people and get them off of you, you're going to have to stab them. I'm not going to stop him cutting them. I'm not going to stop him cutting them. So, slashing is more defensive. Let's face it, you would cut them all. You cut, cut, cut. But defense is for suckers. Let's face it. Because I have to transition to offense sooner or later. Right? Sooner or later, I have to become you. If you're aggressive, I have to become you sooner or later. Let's do it now. What am I going to... Because there's a gap in between. So I'm defensive. Now I have to get to offense. And there's lag time in there. Can't even have a lag time. This close, can't have a lag time. Can't have a lag time. Oh, well, you can have it out here. Okay? Or one-on-one. -on -one. Well, then when he's coming in, second man in's a big f***ing deal. Everybody, nobody, nobody trains for second man in. One-on-one, -on -one, you know it. I train for him all my life. I'm worried about you. It's them. It's him. That's who I'm worried about. Once I start concentrating on yeah, I've done all the drills. They've done that. I'm not worried about the guy in front of me anymore. Same with your shooters. I'm worried about the guy. You train for the guy in front of you all the time. You need to be aware back here. Because that guy's going to kill you. That's a guy that's going to f you up or he's going to kill you, right? So the matter of what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What's your training? Why are you here, right? You're training to be able to protect yourself and your family, okay? But what kind of training are you doing? Are you training in a system that allows you to quit? Now, allows quit means that you get to tap, okay? Now, that, that's good. Look, jujitsu is f***ing awesome. Awesome, but so <laughs> algebra, nobody uses it. <laughs> okay, nobody use anybody use algebra today, this week, but no, you <laughs> don't use it. You're gonna waste all that space in your head. Now, jujitsu's great for one on one. Put him in the mix, and it's a lot harder. Okay, I never saw a jujitsu guy control two people on the ground. It's really hard to do. One on one, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. I know. I mean, I've had him in jujitsu, and that dude, you couldn't beat him. But when I jumped in, we'd be out of him. Why? Because hey, it's kind of geared for one on one. You got to use what God gave you and stop with it, is really what it is. Because I found out all my training, whether, no matter what it was, God pushed all that shit out of the way, whatever He gave me, and I went. And I couldn't control it. I, just, I couldn't control it. I kept a little bit. So what you want to train is when you keep a little bit of what you're training to have more skills. And if you go first, then you can keep a lot of it. But you got to go first, right? Why, why would I let him go first? Him, why, 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 I wouldn't let anybody shoot. Would you let anybody shoot you first? Yeah. No. Why would you let anybody take a swing at you first? Because on the offhand chance, they can knock you out so easy. And then it's done, right? So all, all you, everybody that is training to protect, you're not allowed to quit. You're not allowed to tap out. You're not allowed to f let's, let's just start over. Because that's not me. That's your families. That's your daughters, your sons, and your wife saying, you can't f quit because you have to take care of us. That ain't me. That's a fat Philly saying, oh, you don't need it. That's my family telling me. That's your family telling you. You're not allowed to quit. So you need to train in something where you're going to have the advantage. Number one, always have the advantage. And for me, that's where this blade comes in. If I'm standing here and mixed behind me and he can burn all you people down on one foot, I don't give a does it? I, I'm not into that or you have to do it this way. If he can do that, he doesn't need anything more. But if you can't do what you need to do with your weapons or your blades, or your training, then you need to change it.
that, that's all. I don't, right? If you just want to do this all day, or you want to do this, and we go right back to cutting and stabbing. I'm stabbing, cutting. I can take the cuts, okay? The stabs, ah, a little different. Especially when I, Nate, uh, I'm going to stab you in the face. I'm going for your face and neck. I mean, you got to get out of the way. And you're not going to stop me. You're not going to stop me. And I can't stop you either. See, that's the f***ing thing about all the instructors. I can't stop you. I can't track the blade. I can't track the blade when he's got it. I can't track the blade when he has it. He has it. Why? Because then I'm in defensive mode. I don't have to worry about that shit. Offense, offense wins. Is it, I don't know if anybody has a boxing background, but if you right. came at me boxing and you had a bleed in your hand, and you throw a punch, I block it with my forearm. Right. It's hard to block when they have holes in it. Exactly. So, you already have it. Who can't punch straight in a week? Who can't go to a boxing gym and take a lessons for a month and just punch straight? Because you never have to change. Because, oh, so we change. So, we go uppercuts. Oh, it's on the deal. I don't have to do this anymore. My hooks, palm down hooks, right? So up, up, right there. Back here. You track the blade. Look, then just go down and back up and back up this way. I can stay here. I can speed drop, draw, pull. Right here. Right here. We're in a close. Right here. I just have to do that. Can't do that with straight blade. Okay? You have to turn your wrist like this. I want to make it easy. Why? Because you don't need all that bullshit training if you don't want. We made it for shooters because you already have the draw stroke. You have it here and you have it here. Okay? You need to step in. You need to go first. You need to be relentless. You can't quit. Not allowed to quit. Okay? And once you get that mindset in, I'm not going to quit. Well, the rest is up to you. And it's always ultimately up to you. So when I teach people, I say, I give it to you, and you make it yours. If you don't, here's the secret. Here's the big martial arts secret ever. You have to make it yours. Not mine. F*** me. It's you. I don't know how you move. You make it yours. But if it stays mine for a long time, or it stays the Filipino knife master that I learned of, if it stays his, I'll never get it. Then make it yours. Then it is exclusive to you. And how you move but don't go looking for something and it has to stay theirs can't stay theirs because you'll never get it it's there it's like wearing somebody else's shoes so it's not look at what you're doing break it all down because it's what you don't do anymore that's going to make you any good it's what you don't do who's the old guys here remember all dumb shit did when you were young dumb shit did when you were young you do that anymore no you all the stupid so it's what you don't do He's anymore. Me, so. <laughs> well, uh, you got a little gray, well, but uh, I got a little gray. But it's what you don't do anymore that's going to make you good, right? It's not what you add to it. It's what you don't do anymore. You already got it. Stop with it. Everybody wants to jump in the pool and splash around. So leave it alone. You have it already, right? And once you have that mindset, you're like, and it's, I, I'm like done doing sit-ups. I'm done lifting weights. I don't do that shit no more. So I already have it. This is so easy to do. So easy to do. And if you, you want to train, you don't want to train. You do whatever you want to do, but punch the box. It's that easy. Four corners in the center. Boom, 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 boom. No order. It could be here. It could be all in the same. Punch the box. But I can do it right and left-handed. And straight. Punch the box doesn't matter okay get moves that say when I can do this <clears throat> roll it right up right between this guard you just roll <clears throat> right up right you'll never stop me that's why I say you can't stop me I can't do it either I have to be more violent than you it's greater violence wins not skill not tip it's greater violence that's it because once a violence starts gotta be greater right so me thinking, oh, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to try to defend, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So we do it here. Let me show you. This is slashing and cutting. So we, we, we want to do anything? Okay. So, so slashing and cutting. So there's a drill. It's a Filipino drill. And we're just going to do it real quick. Hey, you don't need to know, learn it. So I probably have a trainer here somewhere. That, yeah. That'd be right on film. Wouldn't that be great if I stabbed him on film? <laughs> yeah, his mother wouldn't like that, though. So anyway, I'm just going to slash and cut. So he's going to do this, that, 
that and move around. <coughs> One, two, up and over. See, 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 pull it around. Okay, so now that whole drill is 36 count move. Takes years to learn. We don't want to get past this. Why would I? So, this thing's going to be called the rake. Okay, you're just going to bend your hands and you're going to pull me down. So, when I come with a slash, <coughs> he's just going to rake on the first one, on the first beat. Now, after, let me go two. So I go one, now two. He <coughs> does the same thing. Okay. If he blocks and he doesn't do anything, and he doesn't give me a job like cover my face when my teeth are getting busted out or getting thrown to the ground, then I'm just going to stab him. I'm going to do whatever I want. So if I go slow and he gives, he gives me one, I'm just going to whatever. He can't let me get past one. So this is the easiest one for people with no experience to learn. It's two hands, bat that arm down. You just got to give some pressure on it. <clears throat> okay. Number two, and we're going to do two, and pull it down and whip it. Because, listen, you have to fight the person. You can't fight the... If it's a big weapon, you can fight the weapon, okay? You can't fight this little thing. You won't be able to track it. I can't. I can't. The masters, they, they, they can't track the blade, okay? So, we go for the big arm that's holding the blade, okay? So, when we do a little bit of arm conditioning, is what everybody here should be doing just a tiny bit of arm conditioning, right? So, come here for a second. Okay, so, the arm conditioning ring. Can you pull Take them up? Take your shirt off. Take that thing. All of them. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> okay. So, we do a little bit of arm, we do, they just stay regular, right? So we wanna tap the bones that are right here and right here. You wanna make these hard because this, these are the bows that you're going to hit with when you're hitting somebody's arms in between, right? So, you got to watch. I don't want to hit that yeah. one. Yeah. So, put your fist like this. You don't have to be tense. It's easier if it's loose, Can you do right? me a favor? You're on film. Don't okay. look so douchey. So, Eric. look. <laughs> We're going to try this for a little bit. Look, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be uncomfortable for a little bit. But this value of this is in oh, leaps and bounds. Been doing it for like ten years, bro. Okay, I shit. shit. Okay, <laughs> so guys. just up here, right, right here, and then leave them there, in there, and this, there. All right, that's is that enough, right? <laughs> okay, so, but here's the deal: if, if he comes with it, just and you, he, just put your arm out. I'm not even gonna. If he comes out and I crush that arm, he doesn't want to hold that blade anymore. He doesn't want to hold that stick or the pistol. And if he was pointing that pistol over there and I hit it. I want to hit bone to bone contact, but this needs a little practice. Yeah. But it only needs 10 minutes a week of this. I'm not going to hit it. 10 minutes of this and this and leaps and bounds. And we just want to move up to the next level. I don't have to be King Kong. The Indonesian guys are like, they'll go over and break that thing. Boom, well, you don't have to do that. Hey, will you, will you tap everybody so they know how yeah, hard well, you Yeah, absolutely. Train? But you feel me, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, again, bone to bone contact, side of the head, breastplate where we're going to do collarbones. Oh, from the back, it's awesome. Hit everybody from the back you can. <laughs> front shit. Hit them from the back. You have to be able to hit people from the back and be good with it. Because we're all raised to be <laughs> not right. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Knockout yeah. artists, right? After the initial contact, when he's in the bars, I was a cherry picker because my guy went quick. All, all, all fights go to the ground. They all start standing up. But my guy always went to the ground. I just made sure one of us went. wasn't me. Then I went around and I knocked everybody out that wasn't looking. And I was <laughs> okay with it. <laughs> yes. I was <laughs> okay with it. That's the hardest thing to do. And right? guys, we're not. We're, we're, when, when we talk about this later, we're going to talk about articulating your yeah. need to defend yourself legally right. and ethically, not just. Right. But listen, if somebody's holding your white, whatever, you're going to knock him out from the back anyway. You know. Oh, excuse me. You want to turn? That's not going to happen. So just do it now. You have to change your your whole attitude to that. Your whole attitude. And and I give her an example. This is the the hardest thing to do is that you're all retrained. If she walked by you and dropped her shit, you would all just. Pick that up for her. I mean, I'll walk right by. It took, you know how many years it took to do that? Because I'm old, right? My ancestors would be like, you asshole, you 
<laughs> right. But it's part of a training thing. But you can't do it. Because one day somebody might drop something in front of me and there I go, I'm not paying attention. Or not that that's really going to happen, but you need to change your, change your whole attitude so about it. The fair fight. You're right. That's where everybody, in Philly, when it's unarmed, it's like everybody gets snuck. You yeah. fight your family fair. Sometimes. Right? That's it. That's Sometimes. Yeah. 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 Sometimes. All right. So. Let me just tap a couple more guys up. Yeah, and then without, yeah, you ain't doing it, right? What I want, why I want him to do this is so when you go home and you train, you understand. So just hold the right knuckles right here. And we, we cut it down. Can you tap some people up? Yeah. Same thing. He's just going to do a few. Okay. You don't have to be tense because it works when you get tense. A little down, a little low. I'm short. Okay, so one here, here, here. Okay, here. This is conditioning. There. Feel it? It sucks, right? So that, and that's only two, right? So. Like loose. Six. Yeah, loose. Now remember, when you guys want to hit arms, you always hit on the inside. So I'm only hitting your bones because I want to get to here. Because this is where you hold shit and your nerves will loosen. It loosens your grip, right? Okay. The only reason I'm hitting bones is so you know what you need to train. Jesus. Right? That sucks, dude. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? Just right here, nice and loose. Don't have to be hard. Just... Bend, bend, bend. Okay. This is like the Just right there. Oh my There you go. Oh, they were good bones. They're good bones. So you're, you're, feeling, you're feeling the same impact though, correct? Or oh, not? absolutely. Okay. Yeah, but I've just done it a lot. Right. I did the Marines. Let's keep going. I did the Marines Camp Pendleton. Lost the class. So I said, ah, oh, we're all going to do. So you arm conditioning. You conditioned your arm. Well, Absolutely. This is probably a lot less painful for you at this point. Yeah. Right? Well, I'm going to do everybody. So, yeah. On the first, I don't feel nothing. Okay. No, here. You got to watch here. I just want to miss it. That's all. Okay. Okay. You want to break that watch. Okay. Tap you right here. So, right under the ear. If you, there. <laughs> right there. You feel that, right? Yeah. I felt that. That's real crazy. Yeah. I felt yeah. awesome. Yeah. That awesome. Yeah. Make so look, this is where you knock people out, right here, right here, right behind their ear. These, there's the receptors right here that you can't train those away. You can lift all the weights you want. You can do all that. It's not going away. We all have them. Everyone. It's like, what am I going to do with him? I'm not going to even touch him. But it's not, look, what am I going to do with him? I got to, I can take all that shit, but hit him back here. I have to go for that. Now. Am I going to get it? If I go first, I will. Right? Because that's what I want. I have to go first. From the back, even better. Once he turns around, look, oh, this right here. That's the one. From the back. You got to get used to going from the back, right? When you see it. I keep telling her that. Well, yeah. <laughs> right? So, I'm a cheater. I cheat. Right? F that. You got to win. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. You can't play by the rules. Why? Because there's no rules. You put those rules that are on your head, but they put you in school. They f with your heads. Share and be nice and be good. And then when you get up there, adults, you're all controllable. You do good things and women drop shit. You pick them up like robots or guys. Or you help them. I watched a girl change a tire the other day. Didn't get out and help her at all. Yeah. Oh, I watched all the go up and you know I said watch his dick he's going oh can I help you with and he couldn't even change you so it's Philly chivalry. you can't right it's built into us but that's the only part of training man I really wanted to help her but everything in in me said help her so you can't go but but you can't go by that you have to you gotta break that shit I've got a question yeah so like is there not a dichotomy of being like a good human and also trying to protect absolutely yes but that's the practice maybe if i wasn't in that mood that day not the the training thing i would have helped her but if she really couldn't get it yeah well of course five guys went and helped her if there was no one else there absolutely so you let somebody else be the sucker absolutely so that's right the but that's a hard and you'll you'll see it dude you'll see it. it's hard to do <laughs> It's hard to do because we've all been conditioned. And so we've all been conditioned in sh your shooting because all the shit you see, it's in your head. Martial arts, we're all conditioned. I made this place so everybody can use it. No matter who picks it up, goes, oh yeah, I can, well, I got this. I don't have to cut, 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 cut. Oh, oh, if you want to do that, that's really perfectly fine. 
I, uh, I just, if you want it easy, you want to get right to the point, no defense, offense, offense, offense. I go first, I cheat, I'm relentless, and I don't quit. And I only target where I can knock people out. I go for it. I go for the liver and back here. Liver's a good shot from the back. Oh, yeah. Especially when your arms are up. If they're on your boy, that's it. It's a liver shot. If I leg, he can take a leg kick. He can take all that shit. He can't, liver, you can't, re, you can't retrain your liver. You can't retrain this shit beyond your ear. Right? Show us. Okay. What? To how to do it? Yeah. What? Re retraining? No, no. Demonstrate on me. Yeah, demonstrate. Liver shot. No, everybody knows. So, all right. So, anyway, your liver, it's right here. Okay? It's right here. And then you'll see left handed boxers were, are, were great at popping the liver. Pow! Okay? That, that was their shot. Kidney. Um, how about a kidney shot? Yeah, that too. Now, now kid, the kidneys will always say, but I'll go for the liver first. Because, kid, for a second. So, you're turned around. All right, from now your arms are up. Right, you're choking somebody. Or you're on my buddy. This is where I'm at. That's it. If I go here, yeah, you might turn around. Got okay? It. But when, you're, when your arms are up, here, there. See? <laughs> look. Look. I don't, I don't make you look. squint. So here's the thing. So here's the thing. Go, go like this. Tighten up. Tighten up. Look at this, mother. What? Nothing is going to hurt. Now, put your arms up. Put your arms up and do it. Big <laughs> deal. You can't. You can't do this and ooh, oh, at the same time, wow. right? You can't do it. So you, what do you do? I used to wait for the arms to go up. Boom. <clears throat> Open hand, it'd be my roundhouse kick, right? Yeah. Can't do it. All right, felt it. You can't do two things. So that's the thing. So it's, it's all a matter of, as soon as the arm goes up, this whole, they, they can't tighten that shit up. That's when you do it. But this, we're good at this. We're not good at that. Right? I'm going to practice that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so... In your movement, you have to know where you're strong and where you're not strong. You have to be real with yourself. You have to say, I'm not really good at that. I'm going to get maybe a little better. But I'm going to be I'm good at this because this is count. I'm going to be good at going first and being okay with it. I'm going to be good at going from the back or from the side. Okay? Don't ignore the second man in. The second man in is the one that f***s you out. You all heard every boxer. I never saw that punch. Yeah, okay, that's one knocked them out, right? When you get ready for it and you see it, it's, it's easy, right? Because that's your training. It's, it's, what you don't know. It's what you don't know and what you don't do anymore. Okay? So, this blade is so easy to use. You already said, I don't have to teach you. I want to hear. Here you go. Sit. See ya. No more training. No more training for you. Do it yourself. And in a week of being awesome with it. Him in two days. It's, Him what's months. so brilliant about what you've just explained yeah. is you've just taken a punch and created yeah. a force multiplier yeah. without yeah. any training whatsoever. None. Learning a week worth of how to No. Because I got tired of training people in Blade the, the first day. The, every day's the first day. Why? Because they... But, listen, the, his, the, the training thing is, let's train like you make money. Because if you have something that's not going to make money, it's gone, right? Yep. You throw it right out. So let's do our training like we're making money. Because, obviously, it's not about life and death anymore. Because people train the dumbest shit you ever saw that's not going to make them any money. Sure. Right? But they keep on doing it. Right? They keep on doing it. Because they don't... They're already set. I don't want to throw good money after bad. I, I, when we do training and we do the other stuff, I get 20-year guys, professional boxers, and I do something. They go, oh, my God, I've been, what, what have I been doing for 20 years? So, so you've been listening to somebody who's never really been in a fight that keeps that tells you what's going to happen or what could happen. Or, but I've been there. I've been in the blood and guts knocking mother out. See, I can't do that now because of the laws and all that. But 30 years ago, did whatever I wanted. Training every night, 15 years in bars, in the worst bars in New Jersey, open field. And that's where I found out, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work. This works. Oh, just, <laughs> kind of just this. So I do the same thing all the time. I move to the right, I step over here, and I go in. And I go first. Why? Because they haven't seen my last fight film. They don't know. Right? So why would you change? Absolutely. It's a gun draw. It's a gun draw. No, I meant like what? when you draw. When I go? Yeah. Uh, well, that's a decision for you. I go prematurely most of the time. We all do. I, I knew you'd get that. I knew somebody would get that. So that's okay in fighting too. Okay? Let them figure it out. Okay? 
if, if that guy's asking me what time it is, and I go clap him because I think, you know, and, and the other guy looking at his watch, yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> you shouldn't have been this close asking me what time it was. You know, it's a whole thing. So you have to decide for yourself. You have to decide for yourself on what you want to do. What, what kind of weapon you want to see, what you want to carry, what blade you want to carry. I carry this because I never ever want to slash with it, okay? So for, for one at a time, so you come here, he's going to do this little rake. So you're just going to put your arm out and do that to him. So you just do the rake, see what it feels like. Okay, just do the slash, just a, right? And then you move in. Every single time, part of the arm conditioning gets will go slow, super slow, super slow, Ooh. right? And that's going to go that way, right? When I, that way, I want to hit. And if I just hit arms, doesn't matter, right? But once I draw back where you have to reach, I'm going to, right there, right? And then after I go in, of course, and then we're going in, and then we're going. From first contact, we're going. We're not going to let, we're not going to do this shit. I can't, I can't let you do that. I got to, if I make him move first, good. If he's on already, so we stay in here, we're going, okay? See, how the f are going to get through with him? Okay, so I'm going to yeah, behave with just box, all right? Go, just block at your face, right? Just block, right? Every time he moves. Now, why? I went first. How come action doesn't beat reaction? How come I, I went first? He doesn't move. He see, I, uh, I went first. How come? Why? Because he's on already. He's on. He's not hand. He's not like this. He has to be on, right? I'm too close. And he should know that. Bells and whistles should go off in your head. He's too close. Hit him. The reactionary gap, we do the gap. It's not, it's not against law to back up. If he comes Absolutely, down, yeah. You know, so, now I'm already in a fighting stance. So here's the gap. Just stand regular. Just okay. stand regular. He's going to clap my hand. Put your hands up. No, right here. I'm going to touch him there. Okay? You can get him closer so you catch him. And I'm going to stand out here. I touch. Clap my hands. And I stand out here. I'm there. Now, I move closer. Every time. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Every time. Okay. He's, he's gaming it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gaming it. Though. He's gaming it, right? But you can feel that yeah, once I get here. Yeah. So I'm in here. Now, his reactionary gap because of his fighting experience is going to be so close. Yeah, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. I am in his reactionary gap. For people who don't train, it's a lot farther out. So what that means is I can't stop him either. Do it to me. Just, yeah, I can't. That doesn't matter. But out here, well, out here, yeah. it's easy. But once somebody's here, they're too close, you can't stop them. <laughs> I know, everybody does that. <laughs> right? You can't stop them when they're this close. So what do you have to do? You have to go first. I can't, uh, when he's this close, especially him, I never let him. Right? But he can't stop me either when it comes to going first. Whoever goes first is landing. Exactly. Yeah. Okay? So, you think your safe distance, you pick it out. Okay, so it's all a matter of what you feel. Again, it's not me, it's you. It's much as me, I give it to you, you make it yours. Okay? Yeah. I, I want to interject just because uh, like what you're talking about is mm -hmm. that you or, or the practitioner feels that they are in grave danger. Yes, absolutely. The recourse at this point is deadly force. Yes. And if we're hitting people in the neck or in the liver, that is deadly force. In the or stabbing the them, yes, yeah, deadly force. Them. So, yes. This so, is the same as drawing a gun and just like using it. Right. So my question is, so like, I know this is a personal question right. or a response for you. What right. is, when is that your uh, switch point? But now what if uh, one of these, that's a cop, that's a cop, right. a couple of them here, they don't have the ability to just say he was gonna. And t -t 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 right. Well, you have to make the move. You got to make a move toward you. And so the, the bar tricks, okay. So when I wanted to get somebody, they're, they're at a, they're sitting at a table, and we need we didn't get them out. Bunch of assholes, doesn't matter. I go spill a drink in their lap. Why do people think drinks and water are like acid? They jump up like this and hit them like that. Or I talk to them, I go like, what? What? The f you say? Well, what the? And they go, what? And, and everybody leans in. Absolutely. Like, do you f what the? What the? F yeah, there you go. Make a move first. The drink in the lap is awesome. When you're out to dinner, spill water on the table. Watch everybody. Ah, why do you move like that? It's water. But everybody's like changing the tire, dropping the stuff. Same thing. You watch it, test them. Boom. Knock it over. Watch everybody's reaction. Nobody understands distance. 
now I'm just gonna say <laughs> Sit there and have the water spill on you. Do it at home. You, 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 stated, a, yeah. you stated a subject in the very beginning that mm -hmm. was the most profound statement that translates to firearms, which is how do I stop reacting to what you're doing yes. and force you to react to what I'm yes. doing? At what point am I going to back up? Take it, take right, it, take it, right. take it. React, react. Yeah. Same thing in a firefight. Yes. Change the assault dynamic early on the process. Same thing with a knife fight, right? Absolutely. You're or even empty the hands. Opportunity, the you can't. The aggressions in. The you problem can. with firearms is that we have to be able to articulate right. uh, an imminent threat of death or great bodily harm right. for myself or another. Me lunging at you with the ability yes. gives and establishes that uh, that ability to mm -hmm. act with a reasonable amount of right. force based on the totality right. of the situation, right. which you've just articulated. But that concept that you brought up has everything to do with self-defense and what we're doing. Right. Maybe not target practice, right. but from a combat perspective. Yeah. Change the assault dynamic early in the equation. That's right. Do, you, do some, some guys understand why when you watch a boxing match, guys throw sloppy jabs? You guys no. all understand that's a difference yeah. thing? Mm -hmm. it's right. Bait. They get a this feel. Is here. This, this punch lands. Right. Yeah. This punch hits it. Right. Yeah. So that's another good thing to know for distance. If your hand is out here, I'm like, hey man, you don't need to come down. any closer. Yep. Right. As soon as his my fingertips can touch, I know, him, I know his hand yeah, can knock right him down. out. Right. So same thing if you had a knife in your hand, it would obviously Gage. get more damage. Right. So Gage. the whole idea is what? Go first. Be offensive. Be on. Be on all the time. All you cops on a car stop, when that door opens, you should be on. Switched on. So reaction, react, he goes, does it matter I'm going first okay and you can tell when people aren't on just watch people do shit to make them do stuff like I said spill water on the table watch everybody react just to see how they can't help themselves it's like it's acid when people are dropping shit watch somebody go change a tire oh yeah you want to help them but don't but I can't because it's raining I can't shit. right <laughs> We were all raised to be helpful, good humans, like he's saying. But at the same time, that hones us down for ruthless brutality because we are all designed for ruthless brutality. We just put it in check. It's easy killing people. Not killing people, that's hard. That's how you got to look at it. It's easy. So once you get honed down, it's hard to come back. It's hard to sit there and watch somebody that needs help. Or needs instruction. Try not to instruct somebody you see at the range that's shooting like a bozo that's going to kill somebody later. Maybe not your fart. But try not to instruct them. It's hard, isn't it? Think about it. Like, dude, you're really pulling that down. Seven o'clock sucks. What are, you, what are you doing? You're holding that thing like you're playing with your balls or something, you know? Right? Nico just Absolutely. said he told you not to talk about certain things. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, would you talk See, sometimes a little bit? I let, go ahead. You're, you started to just touch on it. You, I've heard you give this chat a few times about letting Jack out, and you started to talk <laughs> yeah. about how we okay. how we conditions yeah. our one, we condition yeah. ourselves to. Be uh, well, that calls right into this. So, um, Josh Collins. Josh Collins is a guy. Um, he's the guy that paddled around the world. Did he put the paddleboard? Okay. So Josh Collins, the guy who did the paddleboard around the world, lunatic. Nicest guy in the world, but he called him Jack. Jack was the name for his murderer, his ruthless murderer that was going to protect his family. So when you let Jack out, all bets are off. I can be nice Al, older you be John, and think, but once you let Jack out, that's it. Everybody's getting stabbed, right? And everybody's getting stabbed in the face. Why? Because no one likes to get stabbed in the face. No one. Not one thing on this planet likes to get stabbed in the face. Let's do that, right? Letting Jack out's a big deal. Letting Jack out's hard. It's, it's harder than you think. Because once you let Jack out, it, you, you pin it, pin the needle. So make that a mental image of you pinning the needle. Like, all bets are off. Jack has to come out. You can call him Bob, Jack, Bruno, whatever you want. But when you let him out, it, it, it kind of goes. The key, right. the key is like what Mike was bringing up too, though, and so some people aren't in law enforcement, things like that. Yeah. 
is with training and yeah. dynamics, you can kind of control when you yes. let jack out. And that's yes, a, that's, that's the thing. thing when you let jack out, all kinds of hey, things. letting jack out is almost is pulling the trigger too, right? It's the same yeah. thing. Exactly. And so, like everybody's jack's going to be different. You, you got to make what he's saying, yeah. yeah, like creating ultimately an alter yeah. ego that does the bad things that you're not allowed to do. Yep. So when he when he was a toddler, I would hold him and talk into his ear. I never let his mother hear that, <laughs> and. uh I would just tell him how he was going to be when he was older, and I would tell him shit, crazy as shit, and uh, yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's in your head. Um, well, he says those magic words, and you're like, yeah, yeah. One day, one day he's going to go bang, you know, let his jack out. But you have to understand, with martial arts, you're probably going to use one percent of the stuff when it really matters. When it really matters, a uh, guy from New York told me he said, look. I trained 20 years in this, 20 years in that, and I didn't use any of it in a fight that I won. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's, that's it. Because all the other ones are really hard fights. I probably lost, but any fight that he won on the street, he didn't use any of it. He used what God gave him. Ruthless brutality. Go first. Go straight. Oh, the choking thing. That's why it's so natural for us. Use what you naturally have. No one wants to do a front kick. Easiest kick in the world to do. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. Ran has kicks, jumping kick. Front kick's the easiest one to cheat somebody. And, and, right, absolutely. Or even a low. Why? Because that's how we are now. Watch on the MMA. The pre Even watch the UFC on the pre-fight. You see the guy in the thing. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, 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 pop. Watch him out in the ring. Well, why? Because that, that dude doesn't do what he wants to do. Right? He's not the compliant training partner that we have. That's why I hate trainers. There's a compliant training partner. And I go, he does his move. Because that never happens. Right? It's better off that you don't even do it. So that's why with these blades, we have trainers. But they're really so you can take them and hit people that are not doing what you want to do. They're not really for training. Not for hitting people. Not for hitting people. These, it's not for hitting people. This, we just train like this. Boom. No, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to slug this and put it out the back of his head. Thank you for making right? a training blade, by the way. Something yeah. most vendors don't even right. consider. Right, right. You one, also uh, punch uh, a punching bag with that. Absolutely. Do with a blade. Yeah, I've seen the videos. We're on <laughs> Instagram. Unless you don't want that punching bag anymore. Yeah, but that's the thing. We made it so you can punch stuff with it and not yeah. ruin all your shit. Yeah, but we're not making it for, for the normal training of, you know, humans and stuff like that. Well, you keep reinforcing, yeah. I mean, knowledge bombs up the ass. I well, mean, again, why create a complex movement for a simple equation? Yes, you're not gonna all do it. fancy shit when you have a very simple resolution to ending. <laughs> yep, yep, Just, it'd be like 20 ways to pull the trigger. I mean, come on, let's, let's face it, you don't, you don't need all that shit. You guys see why you can't? Yeah. Yeah, okay, dude. so. He's not even breathing out here. So here's the thing. <laughs> We train a lot of people that their life is on the line every day, and some of them are complicit. And they need these talks. They need these talks like, dude, get your head out of your ass and stop listening to people that never choked anybody till they passed out, for real, while somebody else is on their back. Right? They've never been in the crazy tunnel vision that happens. I've oh, seen it. People say, oh, tunnel, first time tunnel vision, right? Whoa. Like, what the is that that was only like a half a second went by but i thought it was a minute or five minutes and i'm talking to myself somebody just threw something at me in my head and i got hit with a cinder block you know that kind of shit you can't train you can't, you can't train for you that can't, you can't you can't do, do it so so what'll happen is no matter all your training the first time it's real there's going to be that oh for a second for a second you got to shake it off the cop in florida first time real probably couldn't go in Okay? He didn't go in. Why? Because first time it's real. First time he was, he was gunshots. I mean, he was older. I get it. Now, I know that shit, something happened to me. I worked in a plant that, um, it was a foam plant. And a fire in a foam plant's a big deal. Okay? Because it's all toxic gas, right? So there's a fire back in another room. And we all like to think, well, if there's fire on there, I'll just go run in there and I'll pull that dude out. And what, whatever, right? So it's a fire. It's, it's on the night shift. Oh, there's a fire over here. Okay. I go in the room. Two steps in, <clears throat> can't go in. That, that's it, just get, can't go in. Uh, if anybody's in there, they're dying, because I'm not, I can't do it, because I felt that smoke, and I couldn't, it's like lifting weights and you're stuck. Same thing, it won't let you do it. God's pretty smart. You know, let me go in. Puerto Rican guy ran right through it, all the way to the end. It didn't bother him, it didn't bother him. So you have to find that shit out for you, and that's what I knew, I had to find some shit out. This was like 20 years ago, I'm like, what the f I just stopped. Yep. 
okay? Because why? I was prepared, right? Now I got smoke hoods around, shit like that. But but this is this is learning experiences. So you know, failure is good, but not drastic failure. Small failures are good. You have to learn from. Them. So I stopped that, and I asked that. He goes, "How could you?" Run? He goes, "It just doesn't bother me." But that way, I'm like, okay. Like, mace and shit bother, doesn't bother me at all in the eyes. But if I breathe it in, it'll bother me a little bit. My eyes here, nothing. Guys, like, what the I don't know. I don't know. But if I breathe it in a little bit, it'll start to go. So I just don't breathe. But everybody's different. So the shit that you find out, you, you need to, to build on that. Right? It's going to happen. So the thing... Right? So I, I understand about cardio and being in shape and, and cardio right so but yeah you, you, you need some skills right so uh, most guys with the, the more bullets win or the guy that can hit the target right if, if I got a hundred rounds and I can't hit the target and Mick has one clip I'm, 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 and he can hit the target I'm f***ing dead so I, uh, cardio is good but you need some skills if you don't have skills and have great cardio you're just gonna get your ass kicked for a long time that's all that's it <laughs> Right? Or you're going to try to tap out and they're going to be like, good, he tapped out, good, f*** him. And they're going to be pounding your face then. Right? There is no quitting. And every time you think quitting, think of your family. Things that, the goals that you want. Because this is, <laughs> this is important. It's not bullshit. We made this place, it's not a gimmick. It's there. Because I don't care if anybody buys it, I got one. I don't give a f I got one. Well, like two. Well, maybe a little more. But anyway. <laughs> When you're carrying blades, you need to carry, well, getting to this too, you need to carry a left-handed blade, right-handed blade, whatever, you need an off-hand carry blade, okay? If anybody grabs your, cut him, stab him the f*** off of you, stop, there's no, he's not going to get him off of me trying to get a pistol, stop. Take a blade out, draw, and stab the shit out of him to get him off you. Cut him off you. And the one that we made is that, yeah, I can still shoot with this blade on. I can still mag change with this blade on. I don't have to ever drop it. I got a guy who's going to put tourniquets on, Chris uh, Kovacic. Got a whole list. All malfunctions, all mag changes, everything from here. Drive the car, dial the phone, put tourniquet on, leg and arm. With this blade on. Okay? So once it's out, Jack's out. Let's circle. Up here. Shoot with on, people on, on. Same thing goes with this. I don't stab myself. I don't stab myself. Okay. Back change. Let's go. Okay. It's easy. Okay. Rack. Okay. Some people want to hit. You do what you want. Okay. Pull it out. Blade goes back. Okay. That's next. And why? Because we want to have the advantage. I never ever. I mean, look, it slashes better than everything. If you watch the videos, because my wrist doesn't move. But I'm not going to do this. The, the, the motions aren't there for me. They're not. I have to keep point on him all the time. Otherwise, I'm going to lose. He's going to be in. He has to come through. If he wants to, he's got to come through it. And the same with me. His point has to be there. Even if it's in the backhand, this is just going to hold me back, and he's going to slug me up with that. Okay. So the easiest way, so we'll do a scarecrow. Just stand there, scarecrow, right? So if we punch the box, it's always on here. But when this comes up, this, this turn up here goes right up to the head, right up in here. Boom, boom, boom. That there. And once I get out of there, I can go anywhere. I can drop down here. Doesn't matter. But this is the checking hand. This is the hand that keeps them off. Because he's going to want to boom. sink back. If I want to cover distance, I just, instead of doing this, Stupid shit, like, I just step, I can get, he can just step in with this blade, lead with the point, because they will move, okay? And this doesn't go, because now the angles are this, in and out, not this, this, oh, there you oh he's there already, you right? And what I got, I got to spin out, and then he's on my back, and it's not going to happen. But there's no way to avoid... There's no way to avoid the point. He blocks it, he's... He's going, going right through the hand. Well, right through the hand. Well, throw that as a punch. Right. It's, no, yeah, right there. First thing you do, Everything for experienced hurts. guys like him, boom, boom, two elbows. That's all. Just step back. Right there. Fuck. I mean, that's how I would that's block it. That's it. Yeah. As soon as they put their hands up, boom, There. The easiest way, and I change grip like that. It's so easy for me to transition. Okay? My step out is always... Here, I touch... Back to here, because I'm always leading with the point. And all you have to do when you're training is to lead with the point. Everything else will be easy. 
Don't leave it the blade. Same thing leave we do with the, the gun. Leave it the point. Mm -hmm. so, so talking about the legal aspects of deployment versus concealment. The lawyer. Where's my lawyer? No, we got cops. Where's my let's lawyer? Just, I know. Just, <laughs> let's just start talking. I, my, conceal, conceal, you know, m many states won't allow you to conceal fixed blade weapons. It's a felony. But open carry is. So you, you, you can open carry. We made it small enough. Yeah. We made it small enough, so open carry is good. So on that uh, on that cross draw uh, blade, which is really interesting, I love the way that's yeah. working. Yeah. How do you carry that in a open carry position? It, it, is it, like it, is this open carry? Would this be considered open carry? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. I, think, I, it, yes. I mean, if your shirt covers that. Well, no. I mean, yeah. That's open Most carry. People wouldn't have any idea what that even is. Yeah. Right. Okay. So for open carry, you but open carry in New York. You, can you open carry in New York? I don't know. Most out states. Of metal spoon. Some states. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, literally, right. we've arrested guys for having a kitchen steak knife. Right. To, it's touchy. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's it. Everybody's yeah, that's, different, that's right? The way, that's the oh, best way. That's so the thing is, everybody needs to know their state law. Yeah. So what we did was it made a folder. So these are coming out in a few months. Here's the thing: when you have it, we'll, we'll have TDI. If this this blade, I test the shit out of it. I've hammered two by fours, put pressure on. It'll take a lot of weight. But if it, if you ever guys think, oh, it's going to close, oh, it's going to bruise or break your finger rather than the other ones that's going to cut your fingers off okay so it's more of a safety f feature but not for pussies so if, you know what i'm saying i'll take a bruised or broken finger if it goes and if you stab straight it'll never close right because we're going into the target okay so it's the same thing so brilliant well here this is not going to be hardly any different than that small folder not this legal everywhere, but we know cops like to go folders. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Take them and off them. You can get oh, yeah. ambi clip versus right Yeah, yeah, side. and it's going to be a solid clip. So nice. Okay. So we're trying to fix everything for what? Shooters, for people who want to protect themselves easily without a lot of training bullshit. It takes years. That little night drill we did, it takes a year for you to learn that, and then never, ever are you going to be able to deploy it. Because all you do is cut. Okay? So, same thing. Cut your family. Everybody else gets stabbed. And then, then, then you have no problems. And then you go, well, what about, well, it's okay, okay. Keep your coats on. I'll stab you. Cut. It doesn't matter. I can't, I can't cut through that, but I can stab through that. So then no one will take it, right? And if they just think about it and just use your common sense. When, when will that be available? Um, in the summer. Awesome. They're being made now. So, but, you know. So... We want to go small, so everybody carries it. It's like, right. fuck. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like that little one. Yeah, blade. yeah. This, this, this. All, all the hitters love this blade because you can get to keep it. Sorry, you got like 80 yeah. bags. Okay, so here's the TDI fold. Okay, this big thing. First of all, the handle's too big, but if, if this closes on you, you, your fingers are gone, and that's the difference. Yep. I come with this blade because I've never stabbed anyone but I punch hundreds of people in the face and I'm gonna do it with a blade now because once you make the transition of um, pro fighter bop, 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 boom, give him a straight blade yeah, I don't know what to do with it. I, he, I wouldn't fight with a straight blade. And then he throws it down. Is he going to do what's uh, straight? Distance to be equal so there's enough pressure. That's how we usually measure the distance from here to here. Okay. Also slings. I see some of you have two points, single point. Your transition becomes miserable off of rifle to handgun if you've got this long dangling skin, sling and it's hitting you in the nutsack or somewhere on your, your legs.